Rachel Holt for NessenFuel.com here alongside Greg Hill at iRacing Headquarters. Greg, thanks for joining us. Well, I'm happy to be here. So you obviously work at this fun place. We've been walking around, seeing all the neat things that you do around here. What do you do specifically? Well, my title is uh, VP of Art and Production, but my day-to-day -day tasks are mainly working with the artists, producers, and art managers to create the many race cars and racetracks that you see on iRacing.com. I also work with the engineers to kind of bridge the gap between art and engineering and make sure that the projects that we're working on are going along well and everything's on schedule. Okay, so this sounds like a lot to take on. What is just the overall process of modeling a car? Sure, well, iRacing is a simulation. So as a simulation, the most important thing is that it's very realistic. So to get a realistic race car built, what's the most important thing is the, the reference, basically the resources that the artists have to create the car with. And the best reference that we can get these days is either through laser scanning or AutoCAD. So this is a laser scan. You can see it looks like a, kind of like a real world except it's colored oddly. Um, and it's made up of all of these little dots. Because the laser scan, essentially, it shoots a laser. The laser hits the surface and then bounces back and registers as one point in space. But it's shooting thousands and thousands, millions, by the time we're done, of points. So when you see it all together, it looks like it's an actual surface. So what we'll do is we'll take this laser scan into our tools and we'll basically create a surface, um, wrap the surface around it and put it, the lines where they need to be, the grass, the asphalt, etc. Uh, the process is the same for a race car if it's laser scan that is the source. Uh, if it's AutoCAD, um, which this is, it's another great way to build a car. Um, the AutoCAD is basically what the manufacturer uses to design the car. Yeah. So depending on what we're able to get, we're, we'll either laser scan or we get AutoCAD. But either way, I mean, they're dead on accurate. You were telling me that you've been here for over 10 years, so I imagine a lot has changed in that time. How have you seen things evolve? Yeah, a lot has changed. Now, since the beginning, all of our cars and tracks have been incredibly realistic. But back when we started out, computers were not nearly as powerful as they are now. So graphics cards have come along quite a way, uh, CPUs have come along. So year by year, we continually update the quality and overall fidelity of what we're creating. So I'd say that a car that we created 10 years ago is maybe a tenth the complexity and detail of a car that we make now. Okay, so for more on iRacing, make sure you head on over to nessenfuel.com.